So my name is Dr. Jasjit Singh from the University of Leeds, where I'm a research fellow uh, examining religious and cultural transmission amongst British South Asians. And so far my research has examined the role of different arenas of transmission, how people learn about religion and the emergence of a number of new arenas of transmission for young British Sikhs in particular. So last year during the visit of the Indian Prime Minister uh, Narendra Modi, there were a lot of reports in Indian media in particular about Sikh radicalisation in Britain. Um, they were saying that British Sikhs were being radicalised in Sikh Gurdwaras and by classes being organised um, and, and that a lot of British Sikhs were agitating for a separate state. So alongside all this activity, some media commentators have also talked about increasing levels of Sikh radicalisation relating to um, protests against mixed faith weddings and about other, other issues. And, and there have been a lot of instances of British Sikh protests certainly following the events of the Beersti affair in 2004. So my project investigates the context, framing, an idea and presentation in the media of Sikh radicalisation in Britain. So I'm going to be looking to understand how it's been presented historically, so how have Sikhs been presented historically in the media, in both British and Indian media, um, what does it mean to be um, a Sikh, Sikh radical, what does the term actually mean, is it, is it a term that British Sikhs would use themselves? I want to examine who participates in particular networks and organisations and activism and why. Um, and I want to investigate the continuing impact of historical events like the events of June 84 and November 84 on British Sikhs and their response to that. I want to understand how British Sikhs um, react to events that take place in the Punjab and other, other parts of the world. And I want to in interrogate the framing of Sikh radicalisation. So why is this term used? Who's it, term, who's it used by? And what's how is it impacted on the current environment in the UK in, the, in terms of the securitisation environment? So I'll be undertaking, as part of my project, I'll be undertaking an in-depth literature review of literature on Sikh radicalisation. And also I'll be interviewing people who um, have been involved in protests or have you know, engaged with what has been defined as Sikh radicalisation. So I'll have plenty of updates throughout the project. You can follow my research on the, on the Crest website and also follow me on Twitter at Dr Jasjit Singh.